Hey there, really quick before I get started, this is the pattern for February's monthly giveaway. If you want to learn how you can win a free one month membership to Club Crochet, visit the link in the description below on screen now or by going to clubcrochet.com slash giveaway. Hey there, I'm Louie, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this little tiny piglet. Um, this pattern is really cool because the only part you have to sew on is the nose. So it's very little amount to sew together. It's a great pattern for beginners because it includes a lot of different techniques, but it's not too complicated. For this pattern, you're going to need the following materials. I'm using all worsted weight yarn in pink and hot pink. This is a little bit light for hot pink. I'm going to use a slightly darker hot pink this time. You also need some safety bead eyes, but you can use bullion knots in replace of safety bead eyes if you don't have those. Um, and you'll need some stuffing and some scissors and a darning needle. I'm using a crimped end darning needle. And my crochet hook for this pattern is going to be a size G four millimeter crochet hook um, because I'm all using all worsted weight yarn. Um, before we get going, if you want to follow along with the written instructions, go to clubcrochet.com slash pig. I included a full interactive uh, pattern there with clickable um, check marks for each round so you can keep track of where you're at. All right, well, without further ado, let's get hooking. We're going to start by crocheting the nose. All right, so for the nose, we're just going to start with our pink yarn here. We're going to make a slip knot. Okay, and we're going to start by just chaining four. Okay, so to chain four, we're just going to yarn over and pull that loop all the way through. So we're going to go one, two, three, and four. You, um, you want the chains to be not too tight, but also not too loose. All right, so starting into the second chain from the hook, so we're going to skip this one right here. We're going to work into this one. We're going to start by single crocheting into the chain right there. We're going to do a little single crochet into that second chain from the hook. Okay, we're going to do another single crochet into the next chain over right here. And into this last chain, we're going to actually do three single crochets. Okay, so just one, two, and three. And as you can tell, it kind of turns around as you do that because you're putting so many stitches there, it starts to like kind of spin upside down, which is perfect because we actually want to work into the back of the chains now um, for the rest of this part. Um, there's a diagram in the written instructions that might also help you here. Okay, so now we did our three single crochets. We've turned our piece around. Now we want to work our next single crochet into the back of the chain right here. You can see there's where our second single crochet was made. It's upside down, but that's where it was. You want to put your crochet hook into that spot and do a single crochet into that stitch. I'm also going to work around the tail end here just to hide it into place. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing into the next chain right here. Okay, so you just want to go work into that chain. And you want to work three single crochets into this next one. So one, two, and three. And as you can tell, it's not only turning around upside down to make it easier for you, but we're kind of working over that first single crochet we made, which is perfect because we actually don't want to use that one at all. To finish up the nose, we're just going to slip stitch into the next stitch over. We're going to skip that first one, that first single crochet we made right there. You can see it kind of. Um, we were going to skip that one and do a slip stitch into the next one right here. Okay, so we're just going to put our crochet hook in there and do a slip stitch. We yarn over and pull through all the way. Okay, so pretty simple there. Now we're going to cut the yarn. You want to leave long enough, a long enough end so that you can uh, sew this onto the face. Okay, we're just going to pull it all the way through. Now before we continue on the body, I want to do a hidden end on this nose. And this is just uh, kind of for personal preference, but it really does help with sewing it together. So we're, we threaded it on a needle, this end on a needle here. And you want to take the needle and go into the back of the next stitch, so right here. Okay, so into the back. Just pull it through, and then we want to take the needle again and go straight into where the yarn is coming out. See where the yarn is coming out right there? I'm going to pull this a little bit tighter there and go straight into that and then 
into that stitch we we uh, worked around right there. Okay, and we'll just go ahead and pull that through. And this is going to make a hidden end. You don't want to pull it too tightly, but as you can tell, it kind of mimics all the rest of the stitches there, so it's kind of hard to see where the end is. All right, now we'll put this to the side and we'll come back to it um, after we've made some of our body. All right, so for the body, you can either use the chain two method or the magic loop method. I'm gonna be using the magic loop method and I'll show you how. You're gonna place your palm down, take your um, yarn and wrap it around your index finger three times. So one, two, three, and then take this little tail end and hold it in between your middle and ring finger, okay? Now take your crochet hook and place it under these two, the first two um, pieces of yarn, uh, strands of yarn there, and then hook onto the last one and pull it under the first two. Now we're going to yarn over again with that end piece and do a chain. And we can pull this off of our finger now. We made this magic little loop thing. Now into the center of this loop, we want to do our first round. And for round one for the body, we are going to do six single crochets. So we're gonna do six single crochets into either the second chain from the hook, if you did the chain two method, or into the magic loop, which is what we're doing right now. So that's three, four, five, and six. Okay, when you have those six single crochets in there, you can pull this tighter. You're, I like to start by pulling the tail end a little bit so that that little end gets pulled in so I know which one to grab. Then I grab that one and I pull it backwards so that this other side starts to pull tighter. And then I can pull this tail end and it pulls a circle nice and tight. All right, so that's gonna be the end of round one. For round two, we're gonna be working into each of the stitches that we made here. This pattern is worked in the round, meaning that we don't need to turn around for the entire piece. We're just working in a spiral. So we're gonna count back six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right there. I'm gonna get our crochet hook under the, that stitch. And we're going to do two single crochets into that stitch. We're doing an increase. Okay, so we're gonna do an increase into each stitch all the way around, meaning two single crochets into every stitch around. I'm working around this tail end just for a few stitches to hide it in. Okay, so now I did the first two single crochets. Now I'm doing our second increase into the next stitch. Okay, now another increase. And you're going to repeat this six times total, which is gonna bring you up from six stitches from round one to 12 stitches in round two, which is what we're working on right now. Okay. And here's our last increase. We've done five increases, and here's our sixth one right here. Boom, and a boom. There we go, pretty easy. All right, that's the end of round two. For round three, we're gonna work a single crochet into the first stitch right here, and then an increase into the next stitch, meaning two single crochets, okay? So a single crochet and then an increase, and you're gonna repeat that six times total. So let's do our second repeat. Single crochet, and then an increase. And you're gonna keep repeating this six times total, and this is gonna bring you up from 12 stitches around to 18 stitches around. Okay, single crochet, increase, Usually for my amigurumi, I like to get it up to 18 stitches around. I find it makes it um, easier when it's 18 stitches around. It's small, but not too small, and uh, somewhat easy to work with. All right, so that's gonna be the end of our 18 stitches, and uh, end of our round three. For round four, we're just gonna do a single crochet into each stitch around, pretty easy. There's gonna be 18 stitches total. So just continue doing a single crochet in each stitch around. If you like this pattern, please um, scroll down below if you're on YouTube and click the like button. 
it really helps the channel grow and um yeah i just i really like making these videos uh and if you like the video it helps me know what to continue making also if you are in any crochet groups online uh please share this pattern it really also helps the pattern or the my channel grow and i really respect that i, I really like that a lot Thank you very much for watching it and being a crocheter in general, too. Okay, so that's going to be the end of round four there. For round five, we're actually going to be making the ears built in. So I used to do this pattern by making the ears separately and sewing them on, but I hate sewing pieces together. It's the worst part of crocheting. <laughs> so I try to make as much as possible the pattern built all together. So first for round five, we're going to single crochet eight times. Okay, so we're going to single crochet in the next eight stitches. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, now we're going to make our first ear. For an ear, we're going to chain two, one, two. And we're gonna go into the back loop of the second chain from the hook to right here. See how there's like that little bump out? We're gonna take our crochet hook and put it into there. You might need to use your fingernail to like really work your crochet hook into there. And we're going to do a single crochet into that stitch. Okay. I pulled it a little tighter there to make sure it like is pointy. Now we're gonna continue single crocheting. You wanna do eight more single crochets. One. Two, get a little bit more yarn. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Now we're going to do our second ear. So let's do that again. We're going to chain two. One, two. Pull it a little tighter there. Or get our crochet hook into the back loop of the second chain from the hook and just do our single crochet. And we're gonna finish this up by doing two single crochets. One and two. You should still have 18 stitches around and ignoring these ear stitches, okay? So just if you're counting around, just don't count these ears and count um, all the stitches around and you should have 18. All right, so for round six, we're going to be making the legs. So we're going to do a single crochet into our first stitch right here. And then we're going to do a stitch called the bobble stitch. And bobble stitches are kind of like um, four double crochets that are put together. Here's how you do a bobble stitch. You're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over and pull a loop through, yarn over a third time and pull through two loops on the hook. Okay, so it's kind of like the start of a double crochet. Now we're going to repeat that process four times total. So there's our first repeat. Let's do it again. Yarn over into the hook or into the stitch. Yarn over and pull one through. Yarn over and pull through two. There's our second. Yarn over into the stitch. Pull one through. Yarn over. Pull through two. There's three. And if you keep this tighter, it'll um, make this stitch very neat. So let's do our last one right here. Yarn over into the stitch, yarn over and pull through, and yarn over and pull through two. And then we're gonna finish this stitch up by yarning over and pulling through all five loops on the hook. Okay, so there should be five loops there, and we're just gonna yarn over and pull through all of them. If you like this stitch, you should check out my video that I made just for bobble stitches. I teach how to make weird bobble stitches with color changes in the in the um, center of the bobble stitch. It's a really cool video, I think. Here, I'll show you an example of what I'm talking about. So you can actually make it so that the bobble stitch is different color on the top and the bottom. There should be a link right here. And if not, go to clubcrochet.com slash bobble. All right. So we did our first leg. We did a single crochet and then our bobble stitch. Now we're going to do two single crochets into the next stitches. One and two. Okay. Now we're going to do our next bobble stitch right here. So I'll go a little bit quicker this time. Yarn over, in, and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. And repeat that four times. Okay. 
Okay. And there we go. Okay, and then we're going to finish this up by yarning over it and pulling through all the loops on the hook. Okay, so for the rest of uh, round six here, we want a single crochet into each stitch around 13. There should be 13 more stitches around. We're going to work around this ear though. So let's do our first three single crochets here to get to the ear, and I can show you how to go around it. One, two, and three. Now here's our ear. We're going to skip the ear and work into, you can follow these stitches up to find it right there. Make sure the ear is on the outside. And there you go. Okay, so we're working around those ear and you'll see it'll kind of poke the ear out a little bit. Just keep working around. If you need to get to this pattern very quickly um, in the future or you want to share this with someone, again, the pattern is at clubcrochet.com slash pig makes it really easy to just find that pattern really quick and it's built for mobile so it should be pretty easy for you to um, use on your cell phone. Here we're at our second ear, we're going to work around the ear again. There we go. Okay, looks pretty good. I'll do our last single crochet right here to finish up. There we go. Alright, now we are going to add our eyes and our nose going to make the face. So first off, we want to add the eyes. So I'm using um, safety bead eyes, which look like this for our eyes. But you can, like I said before, you can use bullion knots, which also work out. I'm going to be doing a video soon showing uh, the many different ways you can make eyes. Um, I'm using 8 millimeter eyes, by the way, for this, for my safety bead eyes. Um, make sure to subscribe down below so you get notified when I come out with that video. All right, so for the eyes, I go down two stitches under the ear, under each of the ears, okay? So if you follow the ear down, you go one, two, right like there, okay? Oh, I'm sorry, actually, let's do one, one, two on this side of the ear, so that it's closer to the foot, okay? So follow that stitch right there on, this is the, um, I guess technically it's a left ear, but it's the right ear uh, if it's looking at you. Okay, so follow that stitch. One, two, right here. Okay. And for the other eye, we're going to do the same thing on this side. One, two, follow that ear. Follow that ear. <laughs> All right. There we go. So the eyes are in where we want them to be. You can place them pretty much wherever you want, but those are exactly where I like to put them. We're going to lock it in with these little plastic locking mechanisms. There we go. Makes such a satisfying click. Here's the other one. I'm going to cut this um, this little end here just because it's annoying me and we don't need it. All right, so we have our eyes in now. Now we just need to add um, the nose. And this, like I said before, is my personal least favorite part of this pattern is sewing pieces on. Um, there should be two ends to this nose. There should be one that's closer to the top. This is the um, end that the tail end that we started with uh, that we crocheted around. We're going to start by yarning over with that, or I mean, threading that one on our darning needle. And you can pull this through. Uh, I like to go through straight through the center. Um, you can go a little higher if you want, like a high nose or something like that, but straight through the center works out pretty well. And that will just kind of put it into place. Okay? So you can kind of see where we're sewing it on. Now we can thread our second end, tail end here. This is the one that we made the hidden end for. And the way I like to sew this nose on is I just like to hold it in place and go into our piece and out through, I don't know, like right there, and just follow the stitches along and go under both of these stitches. Don't go under just like the back end or something, go under both of them makes it more defined where the nose is. Go into the next part of the nose and go into the next part of the stitch, up through the next part. There's no, I don't really have an exact science on where to sew the nose on. I just kind of place it where I want it to be and sew it on based on the stitches that are directly under 
them. There we go. Mm, let's make sure it's right. Yeah, that looks good. So the next stitch here. This stitch actually might be a little, well, yeah, this stitch might be a little low for where we want it. Let's see. Uh, we can make it work. Let's use it. Okay. And that's pretty much all the stitches uh, that I'm I'm willing to sew it on with. Uh, you can use, you can just continue sewing it together if you want it like really sewn on, but the whole point is that this just doesn't fall off and it's pretty tight on there, so we're good. Now we're going to uh, tie, double knot these two ends on the inside together. Okay. There we go. Got a little tangled there, but we're good. All right, now we can double knot that. There we go. And we can cut that loose um, really close down there. Now we just need to add um, some hot pink yarn so that you can see the little nostrils. You can also use some like black yarn or something like that if you want a different um, color nostril. I'm just threading on a pretty small amount of hot pink yarn. This is actually more than I even need. And where I like to start is I like to come out through, see there should be two holes, one right there and one right there. That's where we did the three single crochets into each part. Um, it leaves kind of a hole, but which uh, that's perfect because that's exactly where we want each of the nostrils. Okay, so I just pull that end under there and thread the other side so I, I know exactly where I want to go. And then I just go down through the stitch directly under it, like right there. Pull through. Okay, so you can see we got one nostril there. Oopsies, lost it. There we go. There we go. And we're gonna go through to the other nostril, right? There we go, like right through there. Uh-oh, oh no, we're good. Okay, and then down through the stitch directly under that nostril right there. Okay, and you can see we got our little little pig nose on there. We can double knot these two ends to hide this hot pink yarn in there. Okay. There we go. Put that to the side. All right, so we have our face all sewn together. Now we can get back to crocheting our piece together. And um, in my opinion, the most difficult parts of this pattern are complete. Okay. All right, so for our next three rounds, rounds seven, eight, and nine, that's three rounds total, we just want to do a single crochet into each stitch around. Um, there, I do have a caveat for this. If you want to turn it into a finger puppet, which let me show you an example of what that looks like. I've actually made finger puppet versions of this pattern. And as you can see, there's like a hole there, which I've crocheted something for. I'm going to be coming out with a video soon showing how to make finger puppets out of literally whatever you want. Um, I have a video right now showing finger puppets, but it's not really uh, effective for this pattern specifically. So if you want to make it for a finger puppet, um, just hold tight, subscribe down below, and I'll be coming out with a video soon showing how to make it into finger puppets. But in round eight, um, you would want to do something slightly different for a finger puppet, which I'll show you. Uh, I'll, I'll explain when we get around to round eight. But for right now, uh, let's just say we're single crocheting into each stitch around, that's 18 stitches total um, for each round, round seven, eight, and nine. Just single crochets around, pretty simple. So here I finished, um, I'm just about finished with round seven, and I'll explain what you would need to do for a finger puppet in round eight. 
if you wanted to make it that way uh, in the future. And again, I don't have the explanation ready just yet, but it will be out soon. For round eight, if you wanted to do a finger puppet, you'd do single crochet two, and then you would chain three here and skip three stitches. Okay, so we go chain two, one, two, three, and then skip those three, uh, and it would make a little hole in the bottom. And then you just continue normally, and when you get back around, you'd single crochet into the chains. This would create a little hole, which you could um, put a finger puppet addition into. Okay, but for this pattern, we're just going to be single crocheting into each stitch around for the three rounds. Okay, let's just continue around. I really like this pattern. I think I came out with this pattern, or came up with the pattern, about e maybe even a year ago. But I just didn't uh, didn't come out with it because I didn't feel like uh, I felt like I I really really liked the pattern, but I wasn't ready to. Um, I felt like it could have been better or something. I don't know. And I found out that this year is the uh, it's the Chinese New Year for the pig. So I thought, oh my gosh, well I got to come out with it now. And also February, uh, I figured everything's got to be pink. <laughs> We're on round nine now. Oop, there we go. This pattern is very quick to stitch up too. I mean, I've been uh, recording for 30 minutes now and we are, I mean, it, pretty close to being done and I'm going relatively slowly just to teach you how to do it. So it's kind of, I, I really like quick patterns. Uh, I hate making things that take me forever. I just get bored of it. <laughs> All right. So that's going to be the end of round nine. For round 10, we're going to be uh, making the feet, which are made the exact same way as the, the front feet. The back feet and the front feet are made the same way. We're going to start by single crocheting two, one, and two. And now we're going to make a bobble stitch. Again, we yarn over, go into the stitch, pull a loop through, yarn over, pull through two, and repeat that four times total. So there's our second repeat, third repeat, and fourth repeat. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. Now we'll single crochet three times. One, two, and three and then do another bobble stitch for our last leg. Three and four. All right. For the rest of this round, uh, we're just going to single crochet into each stitch around. There should be 11 more stitches here. And still we are at 18 stitches around for uh, this round, for round 10. 18 stitches around total, I mean. Okay. Nearly to the end here. All right, and one more. All right, so that's the end of round 10. For round 11, we're just going to single crochet into each stitch around. Okay, it's pretty easy. That's just going to be 18 stitches, 18 single crochets. This is going to be the last of the um, simple 18 stitches round thing. After this, we're going to start decreasing down, making his little tail and his little butt. His little butt. Okay. I've got a horde of pigs now while I've been writing this pattern. I think I have like uh, 10, <laughs> 10 pigs. I don't know what to do with them. Maybe I'll do a giveaway on my secondary channel, Louie's Loops. All right, and here's our last stitch here. Okay, so now we're on to round 12. In round 12, we're going to be doing two things. First, we're going to be decreasing down um, to 12 stitches around. But also, we're going to be making the tail. So for round 12, we're going to single crochet into the first stitch right here. And then we're going to do a stitch called the invisible decrease. We're going to take our crochet hook 
and work it into the front loops only of the next two stitches. Okay, so the front loop, there's one and two. Okay, and we're going to do a single crochet into those two front loops, just like that. And you're going to repeat that five times in a row. So let's do another single crochet. Here's our second repeat, and then our invisible decrease by working into the front loops. One and two, and do our single crochet into that. There's our second repeat. Here's our start of our third repeat. Okay. Fourth repeat, single crochet, and then invisible decrease. And then one more, whoop, one more, single crochet, invisible decrease. And that's gonna be our fifth repeat. And here you can see we're on the back right there. Now we wanted to make the tail. For the tail, we're going to uh, chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay? It was pretty long before it's curled in. Now we're going to start into the second chain from the hook, and like the ears, we're going to be working into the backs of the chain. So you see the little spine right there? You want to work our stitches into those uh, into those back loops. So we're going to skip our first one and go in, work into a second one right here. And we're just going to do a slip stitch into each chain down. So we're just going to yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop. Okay, so that's seven of them total. So there's one, two, just keep going down, three, and as you can see, it's going to um, start to do make a natural curve in, uh, which helps with the curliness of the tail. We are going to have to tweak it a little bit to make it more curly, but it'll have a nice curve to it regardless. Okay, and here's our last one right there. There should be seven slip stitches total. All right, and now to finish up uh, round 12 here, we're going to do a, one more repeat of that single crochet into the next stitch, and then our invisible decrease right here. Okay, so one more last invisible decrease. There you go. Now you can stuff it slightly here. Um, there's not much to stuff, stuff so I'm just going to... Um, I'm just going to stuff it all after our last round. So for round 13, we're just going to do a decrease into each stitch around. Now when I say decrease, I don't mean an invisible decrease like I did before, and I don't mean a single crochet two together. I mean a sharp decrease. Um, so I'll show you how that works. Um, we're also going to be working around this tail when we get to it. Okay, so for a sharp decrease, we're going to go into the next stitch right here, yarn over and pull a loop through. Then yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over and pull a second loop through, and pull that second loop through the two on the hook. It's kind of like a slip stitch two together. It's, this is going to drastically decrease it down and like bring it whoop, in. So there's our first decrease. You want six of them total, so here's our second. Okay, pull through two. Here's our third. One. And as you can tell, as I get smaller here, I can't fit my finger in, so I'm just pinching it to get a better access to each of the stitches. Here's our third. Here, oop, through. Here's our fourth. This is before the tail. Okay. One. And two. And then we're going to pull it out just a little bit, skip the tail, and work into the stitch directly after the tail, which would be right here. Okay? And do our last decrease. I made the loop really far out there, and after I'm into that stitch and pulled the loop through, I can pull both those loops tighter. And then go into the last one right there, and do our sharp decrease. There's our last one. Now we can cut the yarn. You want long enough ends so you can sew it together, or sew it closed. And we're just going to pull it all the way through. You don't need to make a chain or anything like that. Now we'll grab some stuffing. And I like, uh, you can use a pencil for this if you want. Uh, these clover crochet hooks are really nice because the rubber um, makes it very easy to, to grip the stuffing and just stuff it into that hole. Okay, so we'll just keep stuffing it in. 
until you you feel like um it's it's sturdy enough you don't need to stuff it too too tightly or too much um, but also don't understuff it either because uh, then you have you know a weak pig it's not it's not really as sturdy as you'd like and wouldn't make a really good ham dinner you want a pretty stuffed pig make a full hearty meal that looks pretty good it's pretty dense all right so now we can thread our end here on our needle and we'll just sew it closed and to sew it closed I'm gonna count up uh, uh, three stitches from where this end is okay so I call call this this zero stitch that's where our um, we did our last decrease so we're gonna count three up from that zero so one two three I'm gonna go into the top of that and out through our zero stitch okay pull through now we're going to go into the next stitch, so our fourth stitch, so boom, right there, and out through our one. See, so we're going kind of across. Once you have that uh, needle through, you can pull this first one tighter. Okay, Make sure the tail is on the outside of this thing. Okay, now let's go into our five right here, and out through our three. Now, since the needle is through, we can pull it tighter. And to finish, oh no, our yarn got threaded in a weird way. Let's try that one more time. Right through there and through there. Okay, and to finish up this um, sewing it together, we're gonna go down through where, this is where we last went through, this is our five. I wanna go down through six, right under the tail right there. And down through the body pull it tight and then you can either cut it right here or you can come back through towards the butt we our yarn got threaded so let's let's go ahead and put that back through the stick the needle there so go back through and we can cut the yarn very close and there you go we have a little piglet now the last thing we want to do is we want to add a little spiral to this tail so all i do is i just especially if you're using cotton yarn i just curl it in and it should hold its shape pretty well that's what i love about cotton yarn it really um it's kind of like clay it really holds that shape there all right well thank you so much for watching this video and making your own little piglet uh if you made this please post it on uh facebook or instagram or um even uh, Twitter, you can tag me, I'm at Louis Loops, or you can tag uh, hashtag Club Crochet. If you tag hashtag Club Crochet, um, you'll be entered to win the giveaway for the month of February, specifically on Instagram. If you want to enter on Facebook, you should enter uh, the Facebook group, which there's a link down below for the Club Crochet Facebook group. So join the group and post a picture, and you'll be entered to win a free month of Club Crochet. Thank you again so much for um, watching this pattern. Uh, consider becoming a Club Crochet member at clubcrochet.com. And um, yeah, happy hooking and pasta la pizza.